Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. We're going to be selling stuff and also buying some stuff, and I'm just going to give you guys the highlights. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to be roaming around town. Right. Hurry the fuck up. Sure, summon Rapture of her Touch. Uh, no. It's actually, out of curiosity then, uh, Walk and Shadows for me cost 302 gold. You check. By the way, I can, I can guarantee it's because you were caught return. stealing. You are Walk in the Shadows my is... Customer. It's, uh, 291. Okay, yeah, then fuck it, you're the, you're the one doing all the buying. Well, for now. Maldiction, Oath of Desecration. <laughs> I think I just want to walk in shadows from her. How much gold does she have on her? Oh, I see. Oh my god. Fucking, how'd you get all this gold shit here? You just want walk in the shadows? Alright, I'm gonna take Oath of Desecration then. I'm gonna give you that chalice on all those armor pieces. I wanna see if you can turn them into... I guess I could've checked. Fuck. No, I don't think you can. I think it's a fucking meme or something. I don't know. It's worth trying if you can see if you can. I don't think there's anything else. Hey, no, she likes us more. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me give you the walking shadows then. Then to Kant. And I'm now going to read the Oath of Desecration book. There you go. So that will raise your damage, I think. Alright, why didn't I... Oh, I failed to apply. It's a 90% chance, by the way. Because my intelligence is too low. I need to raise my intelligence next thing I get. Not smart enough. Apparently. This is the chance you can fail. Alright. Actually, I'm going to talk to her about her, her questionable past at this point. How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. I take it you're a traveling merchant. That I am. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home. For a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't. For you, and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Let's discuss your wares. You have seen them, have you not? Is anything amiss? You seem to have a lot of items related to witchcraft. You have an affinity for the dark arts? A ponchon, perhaps, yes. I have the blood of sorcerers in my veins, and between you and me, the blood of sorcerers, too. The power of sorcery is so very alluring, you know. But let us change topics, for should hunters catch a whiff of my inclinations, they wouldn't hesitate to kill me where I stand. I happen to be a source hunter. Uh, I have to I have to tell her, I, I, <laughs> you have to be, be careful, more careful, ma'am. I'm a hunter, but as luck, was, as luck would have, I'm not a zealot. God have mercy. I talked openly about sorcery in front of a source hunter. What a fool I am. Thank you, oh compassionate soul that you are, to treat me so leniently. I never have and never will really dabble in sorcery. On that you have my word. On my life, I swear it. Okay, so basically we had the option to just kill her, and uh, we didn't because she's going to sell us shit, so... It's a good reason, kill her. For a good reason not to kill her. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta go tell uh, Unsinkable Sam why Maxine hates her, him. What's with you, bipeds and beer? No better drink than milk. Ah, so there's the rub. I am but a stray, and she is the mayor's cat. Oh, I do understand her, I do. She wants a tom of means, not privation. One who brings home the sardines, and the occasional halibut. <laughs> I got you just stealing paintings off the wall. Would that I still have yeah, my car. Yeah, Such a marvel it was. As bejeweled as the night sky with precious stones, said to have once been worn by a far-off Maharaja's best hunting cheater. 
Like the king of all cats, I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess whom I had kept company during a long and perilous voyage. A precious band of gemstones, lost as I was tossed around by the waves like a ball in a game of catch. Among the waves it remains, I imagine. Worn perhaps by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only I could be the Caesar again, and Maxine my Caesarina. All right, take my leave. So he wants us to find his his collar. So very odd quest. I will not. I will not deny that. Let me save it before you're. Uh, gonna do I'm not doing else. anything. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm gonna have a look at some of the other vendors that sell magical shit. I think this person Dearest does. customer, I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a starty. I've just the earth scroll to ground you. All right, we've got some shit here like uh, I think I already have oh there's invisibility here but it requires level six we'll get it eventually because I think invisibility would be also good for my character here good adept skill as well tracking touch teleportation I think I got all I really want I think I also have pyro skills so I should probably get some kind of pyro related shit as well pyro skills yeah never before I'd see the day So we can now go talk to I think the uh, the mayor or not the mayor the the legion commander of the town. So I already know where that is. So we're gonna head over there. So what, what do you want me to do with uh, what's her name? Bedora or whatever. The the other per the other archer person. Just pass Wadwa. by. Yeah. Just pass by. Whatever. Now I pulled her off you before she Let's still talk to her. I mean, damaged. she'll go to like the, the place, right? Yeah. I've been mauled. I'll be disfigured for life. Ice blue eyes narrow beneath a heavy brow streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held <laughs> at the ready. I take my leaf. No. I, I mean, you know, harm stranger. Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She clears her throat. I am. Bear daughter, I have not come here to find trouble with the Screech woman. She only startled me. And you, you are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. Your history is long and honorable. I jam up in this cage. This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge. She crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent Screech woman on purpose. Okay. But soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this cage meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. You don't think- Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see- Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. Curse situation you've got here is a woman in this cage under arrest. She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Talia right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. And what will become of this admittedly strange stranger? I'd say you ought to take her off our hands if you had the space. Though we couldn't guarantee she'd do more than piddle on the floor and maul your furniture. Alright, so we can't take her with us because our party's too full. Oh to no. i tell someone to fuck off, but whatever. Alright, let's go talk to the Legion captain. What have we here then? A so-called source hunter, eh? Well, look, do what you must in Sicil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? Okay, D let's discuss uh, Jake's murder. God's above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. He just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. 
They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! In regards to Jake's wife, wife es Esmeralda. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Thirdly? But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. All right, we're done talking to him. Uh, actually, he sells stuff. I think he sells uh... Oh, what now? Oh, he sells um. Do you want a man at arm skills? No. Are you sure? Malay defensive stance. Uh, you don't need that. Crushing fist is really good for. What is she? What do you currently have? Oh wait, for Medora. It's... Yeah, you can taunt things like that. Maybe you should look because some of this is like level something. Like cure wounds. I don't know if she had cured wounds because that would be nice for you to have. I'm gonna keep going though. It's the Legion Commander guy, though. I'm in the area, so you should come over here and... and uh, yeah, I'm coming over now. Yeah. Figure out what you want. Alright, and Arhu's here. How can I help you, my friend? Tell me about your... Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, if I tell you, tell me about yourself, Arhu. But certainly. What would you like to know? Tell me more about this cat trick. Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a... Feline guys. Such magic is a gift hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech. Perhaps humanity's greatest asset cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night. To stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs, this I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. I'm not going to bother too much with actually the, the backstory. I'm going to do most of the other stuff. Here, uh, let's do, though, I'm gonna get fortify, uh, I need level 3 for that, fuck. Boulder Smash, Boulder Smash is pretty good. I can need some of this stuff here, Hulu's Curse, Burn My Eyes, Avatar Fire, uh, we're gonna need Flare eventually. self Omulation, that's a really nice one too, you can set yourself on fire. Should, should I get Burn My Eyes, which is a temporary perception bonus for you? Can? Um, yeah, I think it's good. Alright, I'll, I'll maybe buff you when I can't do anything else. Like, I feel like, because it, it, it lasts a long time, doesn't it? It does. It's the kind of thing you just do and forget. Yep. Alright. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, I, was, I wasn't I was reading this right, actually. Uh, so it's value of player offer. I need to do more of. Alright. Oh, no. Oh! Shit. I've been selling things wrong, by the way. Have you not been getting money? You've just been giving them the items? I'm going to load at the beginning of the episode, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fucked it up majorly. I didn't realize I wasn't doing that. My bad. 
I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fight Clan, everyone! I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna redo the, the same trades again. I, I and all the dialogue. That. Actually, you can keep the dialogue, can't you? Yeah, I can keep the dialogue in. We, we don't have to redo all that. We're, we're, we're buying the same stuff, just know that right now. And you're, you don't have to see any of it. Alright guys, we're, we're back. I, I Okay, I'll show you guys what I did wrong. Uh, and I realized it, and I, I'm like... I'm, I'm pretty sure someone was yelling at me because I was doing this, and I, co I totally forgot about this. So I'm going to buy, let's say, these two books. I don't know, Bless. I don't know, we don't need Bless, really. We need Novice Abilities. Oil Surface. Uh, and maybe we'll get this one, too. Oh, no, we want Spider. Uh, summon Spider. So I want these three books, and Ken gave me a bunch of, like, boots and stuff, so I'm just going to, like, just throw these to sell and these paintings. Uh, I don't know about this wand though. The wand, the wands I can keep because maybe they'll become they'll become useful later. But there's like a bunch of crap here we don't really want. Uh, keeping the paper knife though, like the bows, the fork, the knives. All right, so I could I totally forgot about this crap, but it's like uh, you basically need to. So this is the value of my offer. This is the value of his offer, and I'm supposed to equalize it with gold. And it takes the, the gold value of both and it kind of just equalizes it. And I was not doing that. I was giving every single trader a really good deal. Uh, and that's why our uh, our our, uh, our reputation went up with, with uh, what, what was her face? I don't remember. Uh, the witch one, if you call yeah. it. Yeah. Witchel, if you will. Witchel. Anyways, we're going to learn flair on this character just for something ranged. And how do I go between... Yeah, here we go. I'm going to put some of this... I'm going to organize some of this stuff. Alright, and put the oil slick here. How much does it cost for me to throw... Uh, uh, about the oil pot? I was wondering, but... You know what? I think I just threw it on the ground. Oil flask. I think I may have. I think that's the one maybe I threw. Okay, I, I, I just wanted to throw it out of my inventory, but I didn't want to do that. Hey, look, I got another painting already. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. Yeah, he, he kind of, he, he basically is stealing stuff and just transferring it to me. So, that's that's what's going on right now. I hope your quest So I can go like idea. Arhu, I'm like, oh Arhu, you want these random paintings that just entered my inventory? Oh sure he does. He fucking gives, gives me like, like a lot of gold here. For that. Oh yeah, I want to burn my eyes too, didn't I? Yeah, I, I want to burn my eyes. So that's 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 what I did wrong. All right, there you go. So I got I got a couple skills now. Uh, okay, so uh, we're back on the quest to figure out who killed uh, who killed Rita or Jake. Sorry. Did you kill Rita? Uh, I don't, you don't think, think so. It's do you? I believe you implicitly. So I guess we're gonna go over to why? Why are you okay? Why? Why did you take a little bit of damage? We've been in town this whole time. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna put a. I think it's because I put a helmet on. Who does? No. Uh, who does? Who does air spells in this? I think it's the vendor over here. Because there's actually one more spell I can I can get that would be useful for me, and that's it. Uh, I think it's C Cilia the Enchantress. Oh, no, noble friend. Yeah, she's got air. So we want Shocking Touch, because that's a uh, short range you, spell. And I'm going to equalize or the money. It's a, it's a very cheap one, too. More, and all the other fight, stuff is uh, invisibility, which would be good, but I don't have, I'm not good enough at this stuff. Needs. She's talking way too much. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take that one. All right, so now we're gonna go talk to some of the vendors and things like that. All right, so I got. There we go. Oh, are you here? Could you quickly? Uh, I need you to buy some things for me. Uh, sure. I'm more than happy to as I save the game. All right, for, real quick. Uh, just get this on. Hey, get this on camera. <laughs> just the random painting is just disappearing. Oh man, you don't need anything else like uh, something, some bow-related skills. That's all you asked for. Oh, okay, I thought you were just showing everyone that you're you're able to steal shit. 
No, uh, could you get me splintering shot and the uh, range precision sense? Range I think precision first stance is level three. Yeah, but I can just like I'm like almost level three. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. So I might as well just buy it and then I can use it like next level. Range precision. Uh, what else did you want? Uh, the splintering splinter, shot. Splintered arrow and. Because I figure that's like it's another ability I can try and use. And you said first aid, right? Might as well, yeah. Okay, give me your paintings. <laughs> oh. Because this costs I a lot of money. Extorting me for the paintings I just Dude, this got. this costs a lot of money, actually. I know. It costs a lot of money. Is that all the paintings? Yeah, I got. I got. Do you want, do you want more? I kind of need them, but okay, you know. Give me a minute. No, no, no! I'm gonna give her a gold. It's fine. Go no, get, no! I can get more money. Fine, fine. Go get it. <laughs> Fucking turning invisible. Get it while it's fresh. These batches are. That's all there is in this place, actually. Money. Fuck. That skill basically paid for itself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I don't have to invest any points in skin. Eh, it's like... i get you some more gold from that. Is that the thing I have to combine with the, uh... Oh, useless but pretty, I see. No, those, those are just the regular cups. Okay, now are you done? You have yeah, I, I'm done. Okay. I'll take my leave. There you I'm go. not sure if you noticed, but I also stole all the arrows on the uh, they're on the shelf. <laughs> I am now decked out with special arrows. You just you just steal the fish. But I think I think we're gonna go do more uh, story related stuff actually right now. Wait wait what? Yeah. Why, why do I constantly see overlay on people? They look green constantly. Hmm. What the hell? I, think, I thought I had that off. Yeah, I have none on. The likes of which I doubt okay, it's not actually supposed to be happening. I'm not sure why. Are you in combat or something? No. Okay, because it's... Oh, it's... Wouldn't be the first time this game's been buggy. Whatever. So I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to show everyone on right screen there. all the time. Until you've received the captain's permission to enter, this That's a lot of arrow shift. I was talking to Aris. Let me inside. Not exactly the friendliest bloke the captain, is it? Well... Your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest. Look at that scroll to you, I think. Enjoy. Okay, I'm, 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 you wanna, I'm gonna solve the, I'm gonna start the storyline stuff, by the way. Oh, okay. Let me just finish. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened to you? You just fucking teleported with me? Yeah, I was gonna loot. Uh, well, too, too bad. I don't know why I heard a voice saying, like, thanks, thanks for being a dick. Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone, somehow it sent us flying into the stars. Okay, so the voice before was Ken stealing something at the same time as me activating story plot, which is the stone. Uh, this, we reacted to the stone, essentially, that was in the room. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, did we? Oh, sweet, we did. I don't want to talk to this guy. Let me look at my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up. Uh, I think dual building. Yeah, because that will reduce the AP cost of attacking. And I get oh I get a new talent. So I want to do the one where I smell bad stench. There you go. So now now melee opponents will not attack me as often when I'm near them. That's a good one to take. And this guy doesn't level up because he's level three. So we got leech, pet pal, and stench. And I didn't get another point for intelligence, that sucks. Alright, let's go talk to this guy then. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here? At the end of space and time? How very, very, very curious. Who are you? How did you get here? Oh yes, 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 proper introductions. Zigzags the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as one, two, three. How you got here, though? That's a 
rather more interesting question. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Why is this place shrinking? Ah, at last, a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. How will time come to an end? Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens, and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. And and so we can go They've see what's coming. Kind of cool. A giant motherfucking dragon. You looked. You saw. Terrifying, isn't it? What's this? The portal! It's... it's... How did you not loot the beer and wine? The portal has become active! Fantastic! Astounding! Oh, Onward wow. we should go! So I should mention, yeah, there's a lot of story in the beginning part. The portal! It's quite It turns more into combat life, later. Just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence. All right. Uh, what have we seen the looking Goodness ones? Goodness me, how right you are. There's so much to take in, I'd nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. All right. What lies beyond? Ah, though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. You believe we are somehow connected to this plan? It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. Alright, I, I just wanted to mention you guys. Yeah, so there is a bit of a story around this, but it's mostly in the beginning part. It gets into a lot more combat-oriented stuff. It's just trying to introduce you to characters in the game, so... Uh, if you're not... Like, the, the story's pretty interesting, but if you're not digging the story, it's gonna be maybe another episode or two before we're back to the combat uh, stuff. Uh, I figured I'd just tell you guys. So, I mean, anyways, that's all the time we got for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.